This is Mr. Royce, Royce Media, coming at you guys with yet another video. And this video is really on the backs of my stimulus checks versus uh, child support video. Um, it occurred to me after I made that video that I might not have went far enough to clarify my position um, on the uh, term deadbeat dad. Um, so here goes. I, in general, do not believe that in the United States that there is such a thing as the deadbeat dad. This is because um, men cannot have a financial or physical abortion. They cannot completely give up parental obligations to a child and... Um, they generally cannot give up a child for adoption or leave a child at a uh, one of those uh, safe haven spots if the child's mother is alive. Um, in fact, women can freely have children that they don't want and can't afford, and the state will take over wardship of those children. Um, and even if the state doesn't take over worship of those children, they will provide those women with uh, housing assistance, with uh, financial stipends, um, food stipends, uh, grants and different things to educate these women. So that these women can someday be able to afford these kids. While if you're a man and you have children you can't afford, you could very well get jailed. In fact... In the United States, in many areas of the United States, you don't even have to have contributed DNA to a particular child if you live with a woman long enough. Or if a woman simply says you're the father, um, the state will mandate that you pay child support. And you cannot put that child up for adoption or anything like that. Um, if the state says you have to pay child support, then that's what you do. This um, is why... I say women who are unmarried and have children, um, their children should be named after the state that those women get those benefits from. So if she's a woman and her name is first name is Carrie, and she lives in the state of Indiana and she gets uh, state assistance for her children, um, you know, in fact, her name should be Carrie Indiana. Um, anyway, um, I don't believe that in general there is such a thing as a deadbeat dad. Now, the exception to that is that uh, there are some men who like to go to foreign countries um, and purposely shoot up the club to leave babies and um, to leave these countries knowing that they have impregnated some foreign woman um, just because there is such a thing. It's not a terribly big thing, but there is such a thing, especially when there are ways to have recreational sex without getting anyone pregnant. Um, there are vasectomies, there are condoms. Um, you can go to India somewhere and you can get that, uh, you know, sperm foam shot up in you to where um, you can't get anyone pregnant. So there are ways um, that you can do that. And there are, there's a small minority of men who will go to foreign countries and do that night think that's despicable in my own personal opinion but as for men in the states i know there are too many things to get in the way um that 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 i know men don't have a full their full spectrum of rights um furthermore there are a lot of situations to where um if a woman is in an abusive late relationship um she's in a relationship where she isn't happy she's feeling fulfilled um whether they're children or not in that relationship, she is encouraged to leave and to find her happiness, or she is encouraged to leave to maintain her safety um, and things like that. Whereas our society says that no matter what's going on in a relationship, no matter how abusive it is to that man, no matter how unhappy it is, he is, he has to stay or he's not a man. So the social pressure is great on men where it virtually doesn't exist for women and that's unfair you know 
there, there's a there's a whole industry of movies and entertainment that, and 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 even nonfiction that deals with women leaving to save themselves. But somehow, um, the very same people in this country don't think men should be able to leave relationships in order to save themselves. And there are situations where men have to leave um, a relationship and leave their children in order to not only save themselves, but to save the children. There are relationships where the women are so violent, with, to where they, in order for the children to be safe, that man has to leave um, or, or and to maintain his freedom from the criminal justice system. Um, he has to leave and it's better that he lives somewhere else, um, no matter whether he can afford the kids or not. And this impedes his ability to be a good father, or at least to try to be um, a basically decent father and a partner. So, you know, um, whereas we encourage women to get out of toxic relationships, we as a society, this society, I don't encourage men, but this society encourages men to stay in toxic relationships. And I think that is wrong. So I don't believe generally in the idea of the deadbeat, um, the deadbeat father. We don't talk about deadbeat women. So, uh, you know, until men have their full spectrum of rights, until we encourage men to not be into be in relationships that are toxic or outright dangerous, um, that term deadbeat, deadbeat dad, to me generally, um, is is not accurate and it is a term for very small marginal group of people anyway this is mr royce royce media like share and subscribe get the comment section i'm out